Hi everyone and welcome to Hashtag Mask Monday Ladies. So anyway, I am so happy to be part of this group. It's really helping me stay accountable and do make sure I do at least a mask a week. Though last week I did uh, another one during the week. I did a wash off mask. So that was just kind of felt really nice to kind of stay ahead of the game. And I'm on this quest to get some healthier skin. Maybe turn back the hands of time or at least slow it down, right? Can't always reverse it, but maybe we can slow it down. So anyway, for the mask that I'm doing today, and I believe I got this one in a Walmart Beauty box, and it's a coconut mask. It really smells good. Really, really, really soaked with the serum. It just really feels good on. I've got this uh, Tula eye mask. Alrighty, and I'm not sure what box I got this in, but it probably would have been like an Ix Ipsy or a Boxy Charm. So, excited to be using that. I've also got on this uh, silicone mask uh, for that I got from Amazon. Just kind of keep everything in place while I'm sitting here talking, because as we all know, when we talk, these uh, masks just kind of flip around all over us. So, and I'm just kind of spreading the serum around. So. I'm going to try to keep this quick, so I'm just going to not stay on. I already had my uh, friend Alexa set a timer for 15 minutes, and I hope to maybe not take that long because I know there are so many of us doing these mask Mondays that it's it's kind of hard if we're to uh, try to get as much in, so I'm going to try to keep this short. But I did get some questions that I got from Mary Catherine Loves Cats. I think she did this, this one last week. It was a Valentine's Day questions. That's my Valentine's hat. Had I really thought about this in advance, I would have worn a red sweater. So I may have to do something like this again next week. But anyway, I've got some questions. So let me finish kind of to get this serum blended in because it's kind of dripping out from here. Alrighty, so let's get into these questions, shall we? Alrighty, so... It's only eight questions, so it should go pretty quick. So, uh, first one is Valentine's Day more for men or women? Well, it's really for men because men have to remember to get the women something because I don't think men really care if you don't get them anything. As long as you have a, a nice dinner for them when they come home, can be just be a burger. They don't care as long as they get something in their tummy. But it's for men to remember to get something for women because it means a lot to women. Alrighty, do you have any special plans for Valentine's Day? No, not really. Um, usually probably what I, I've been doing the last few Valentine's Days is that I have a bottle of honey wine because that was our favorite wine together, so I'll always have at least a, a glass of that. And then sometimes I get lobster tails, uh, frozen lobster tails, and have them because we love to bake stuffed lobster. And sometimes I'll go to the River Inn and just get a takeout order of the Prime Rib because that was our favorite restaurant around the area. It was the uh, River Inn and their Prime Rib dinners. Uh, what traditional gift would you rather receive? Chocolate, flowers, or a card with a personal message? And I always like getting a card. We didn't really get a lot of chocolates. Um, flowers, he didn't always bring me flowers, but he would always get a gift and he would always buy a card and he would always write something in it. So to me, it was the card that uh, was that made it special. Uh, do you like romantic movies? If so, which one? I, I like romantic movies. Um, it's like, I, I know I, you know, of course, I'll not Christmas movies, uh, but it's probably not too good for Valentine's Day. But um, see, I loved uh, Sleepless in Seattle. Uh, romantic comedy and that's probably one a lot of people probably haven't heard of it was uh dudley moore and mary steenbergen or i forgot how to say her name but i like that movie and um and a fear to remember the one with carrie grant i love that movie have you ever received a valentine's day card from a secret admirer and how did it make you feel well you know i never did receive a card unless you call a business card a card but um last valentine's day and it was kind of creepy and it was this person that i had worked with maybe 10 i'm going to say 10 years ago could have been a little bit longer but in the meantime um i'm with the same company but we've moved a few times we've had a couple of different owners and um, this person came in 
and talked to the receptionist and he gave her some flowers for me and his business card and so she said oh do you want to stay and talk to her you know I think I was on the phone or something I could hear her out there talking but I wasn't really paying attention and I guess he said no that uh, just make sure she gave them to me and it wasn't your normal flowers it was bags of flour gold medal and King Arthur's flower yeah so he gave me that and his business card and that kind of, well it probably would have creeped me out more if he had brought regular flowers but it did make me feel really nervous I mean my car is right outside my window and I, I'm in the front of the building and I've got the window that goes out into the parking lot and so my car is always parked right in front of me but after night when it's dark and the lights are on in the building I can't even see my car so and I never used to lock my doors, but since that, that time, I lock my doors because I can't see out um, once it gets dark out there. And um, yeah, so, and I'm always like the last one leaving work and it's always dark. So that night I was kind of really nervous looking around who was in the parking lot. And I think before I set the alarm on the door, I kind of looked out in the parking lot. Is there any cars around? Do I see anybody? And then I set the alarm and then I ran to my car. And uh, even on the ride home that night, I was like watching the cars behind me. Is somebody following me? He knows where I work now. Um, is he going by my house? Is he stalking my neighborhood? So, I mean, that kind of really gave me the creeps. And there's never been any contact after that. So I just kind of thought that was, that was odd. Okay, made me feel strange and creepy. Alrighty, so describe your perfect Valentine's date. So this obviously would not be in Minnesota in February but years ago when I worked for another company on the East Coast um, I had gone to an electronic show we had you know the engineers came with us and some of the salespeople and the owner of the company the president and the president of the company came and so we were out in California for a couple of maybe about, about a week and a half the electronic shows used to go a little bit longer and so every night after work, we would go out and we'd do something fun. We'd go out for dinner. We'd go to shows. Um, on the weekends, we went to like Disney. I mean, they just made it fun when you were away from your family and, and on a business trip. And then everybody left. And um, my boss and I stayed behind because uh, we were getting some uh, awards from, I think it was Payset or in TRW. Lucas was giving us some awards. We were one of the vendors. So we were invited to go to a luncheon. Uh, so we had stayed behind and one night um, while we were there we went on a dinner cruise and um, it was it could have been Santa Barbara could have been Santa Monica it was one of those Santas out there and yeah so we went on a really nice dinner cruise on the harbor great dinner we had some wine and then we were up on the deck later and uh, yeah so they had like a really nice I'm gonna call it like a jazz ensemble it was really soft kind of like romantic dinner music and things like that and so we had a really good rapport my boss and I and so we were kind of dancing and we just got to a point we just kind of looked at each other kind of strange and he said you know what would make this night perfect and I'm like okay what he says if my wife was able to come and Rick was able to come and the four of us were here to together that would be the perfect night and I was like yeah it would be that would and so ever since that night I just kept thinking if Rick and I ever get a chance to go on a dinner cruise something like that that would be the perfect Valentine's Day it was it was just a beautiful night out on the uh, the water alrighty just okay so do you enjoy playing Cupid you know I've never had the opportunity I guess to do that so I've never played matchmaker I never set up any of our friends or whatever so yeah, I don't know why, but I guess it just never came up. And what is the color of love? So to me, I mean, I know everybody's probably thinking, you know, red, Valentine's Day or pink, but to me, the color of love is whatever brings you joy. So maybe it's um, like my mother's favorite color was blue. And so sometimes if I'm thinking, if I see something blue, it just makes me love because I'm thinking, oh my God, my mom would, my mother would look great in that dress or you know that pink color she would love that pink color in our house or something like that or for Rick it's always going to be Harley Davidson colors I see something orange and black that's uh, love because it reminds me of him so I think whatever brings you joy whatever maybe sparks a memory to make you think of a loved one 
I think that's the color of love. So that is all the questions. And um, yeah, so I think I'm over 10 minutes here, but I just wanted to kind of come on quick, um, kind of do something light, kind of keep it interesting, a little bit of fun with my little hat here. And I hope uh, if you join us for Mask Monday, ladies, you're not alone looking like this. This is just something we do. It's healthy for our skin. It's kind of like a little bit of me time, just sitting here for 10, 15, 20 minutes, just doing our own thing. So anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me. I hope you get to check out the other ladies. We'll have that little Mask Monday ladies in the, uh, the hashtag in our titles. So you can just click on that and then go and visit uh, any one of us that you can. Alrighty, take care, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.